All right, so that was our workout today. That was our workout plyo pilates. And uh, we, we did a lot of different changes. You know, the plyometrics, we brought our heart rate up and the stuff on the mat that brings your heart rate down. So I wanted to talk to you today about your heart rate <laughs> and elevating your heart rate and heart rate monitors. So, um, you know, I get a lot of time people ask me, how many calories do I burn in a workout? And so normally, you know, you would wear one of these and uh, it would tell you how many calories you burned in the workout. You know, if you don't accidentally switch it into another mode, um, maybe this one isn't the best one on the market. <laughs> I don't know. But it didn't work out for us today. Um, but yeah, so usually you, know, you can wear one of these and it'll monitor your heart rate and tell you how hard you're working. This one, you know, it'll tell you how many calories that you burn. Um, but you can also have different settings on it so where you can check, you know, like how many steps that you've taken or so it monitors your heart rate. Because um, when you're in the workout zone, when you're in the zone, it's important, you know, to monitor your heart rate so that you know that you're getting your job done. Um, you know, if your heart rate isn't high enough, if you're not elevating it high enough, higher, then you need to work harder in your workout. You need to put out more effort. Um, and if you're working too hard and you're over your target heart rate, then you need to cool it down a little bit. Because elevating your heart rate too much is not a good thing. It can lead to heart disease and other kinds of things. So you want to be careful, you know, that you're getting into the proper workout zone. And everybody's target heart rate is different. You know, it depends on your age. Um, it goes down as you get older. Uh, you don't have to work as hard. You know, if you're a 20-year-old young buck, you know, you can you can get your beats per minute in. You can get them. But when you get older, um, you know, you don't want to have your heart going as fast or overexerting yourself too much in your exercise. So you gotta you gotta watch out for that. I mean, you can look up online, there's target heart rate. Uh, if you don't know what your target heart rate is, go and look it up online. You know, the internet is an awesome thing for that. You just want to know, you just type it in your little Google search, and bam, there's the answer. So go look up your target heart rate, you know, depending on your age and different other factors that are involved in that. Get one of these heart rate monitors, um, a good one. This one, you know, like we just burned 10 calories just standing here, so this, this thing is did not do its job today. So go get a go get a good heart rate monitor. One one that works well, one that won't switch modes when you pat your hands down. Um, get something that works so that you can monitor. This one was 60 bucks. So not a big investment. Uh, not a big investment, but it'll help you so you know like how much you, you can eat that night for dinner. You know, I have some of my girls that train with me in my small group training classes and they all wear one. And you know they want to like if they know that they're going like one of my girls last night she knew her husband was by her husband had a cupcake waiting for her at home so she stayed she stayed and did extra cardio for another ten minutes so she could get the cupcake calories in and burn them off so that she could go and enjoy the cupcake later so if you want to know how many calories exactly that you're burning go get one of these and you can monitor your heart rate you can monitor your calories you can do a bunch of different stuff. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to figure this out for next time. Bye, guys. I'll see you. I'll see you next week for more fun.